So this is one of these um, chisels. It's called a, a flanger uh, uh, dongle. Do I have any broccoli in my teeth? Yeah. You can't beat a flanger donger. Your two French teeth are very large. <laughs> oh, David, this is a fine vintage. Then come on over and <laughs> coffee. That's so irritatingly cute. Or what are you charismatically <laughs> challenging? You're charmingly useless. Okay, so TikTok, Joanne. <laughs> TikTok. Here we are back with our clock, and uh, we're going to do a couple of things today. First, we're going to sand it. We're going to get off this writing here. We're going to get off our, our face template. So we're going to give it a nice quick sand. The belt sander? Belt sander. Belt sander it is. Okay, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to do a pre-seal with our art resin. We have it here all ready to go. And uh, yes. what's the pre-seal for, Dave? Well, good question. That's because some wood still has some moisture and some stuff going in there, still breathing a bit. And if we were to do a full coat, there's a chance that the wood could still be releasing some sort of air or something and could create bubbles in it. So a nice, really thin pre-seal will just stop that first, we'll stop any bubbles from coming up, and then we'll do the final coat and then we'll uh, be able to tell the time. Like <laughs> they used to. That's right. Okay, here we go, Joanne. Alrighty. Hold your breath, close your eyes, it's gonna get dusty. Okay, I'm ready. Look at that. Woo. All right, that's gotta be enough. Okay. Okay, time to resin. Was that a joke and a dance? <laughs> it was. So Joanne's heading downstairs to get some compressed air. So we can, just to get all the dust out of all the little grooves and stuff. And in the meantime, I'm gonna tell you some clock stories, right? So, when they were building Big Ben, you know the huge tower in London, Big Ben, the clock? They called us, this was way back in the 40s, I think. And they said, we're looking for a resin that's super clear and non-toxic because they were concerned about their workers, the unions were coming and everything, and I said, if you're building a clock and you need resin, you should use art resin because it's uh, no VOCs, non-toxic, don't have to wear a respirator, and it has the best non-yellowing performance. So, um, and there, I was like, why well, call it Big Ben? And it's actually, Ben is the guy that used to own the little plot of land that they built Big Ben on, and he was actually really small, but they called it Big Ben because he said, if you're gonna build a clock here, you have to call it, name it after me, but I wanna be remembered as someone important. Any questions? Good. What's the plan here? Just pour it and rub? Or do you want to just stand it and just use gloved hands? Let's just do that. So here we go. Gloved hands. Yep. You do the honors, please. Okay. So look at that. It's the best part. Isn't this fun? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Look at that. How does it make the wood look? Look at that. I know. Oh, beautiful. That's so pretty. So you just see all the different grains. Yeah. You see all the. Just, it glows. Texture. And it stays like that. So you could actually keep this clock outside. You could. No one tells time like this anymore. I know, it's true. It's time to bring back the old times. Wow. That was a double time. Everyone catch that? That was really good, too. <laughs> and I can see there's already some bubbles popping up here, right, Dave? Oh, yeah. You know what that means. It's off-gassing. Yes. But we're not going to worry about torching it right now, right? For these bones no. because... Yeah, we'll just sand and uh, then do our final coat if necessary. So this is, it's a good thing that we did this first pre-coat. So we might have to, we might have to like just re-drill through there. Yeah. Okay, high five. High five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Yeah, we'll <laughs> see you. Uh, see catch, you, uh, catch you next time. Okay, catch okay. you next time. <laughs> okay. All right.